My name is Susan Forbes, and for the next few weeks I will be an anthropology senior here at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. My degree is, uh, is in anthropology. It's a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology with a specialization in linguistics. My minor is in geography, and once I finish the undergrad degree, I'm going to go on to do postgrad studies in linguistics, specifically neurolinguistics, how the brain processes language. I was very fortunate to be selected to work on a, a dig site in uh, San Ignacio, Belize. It's a dig that focuses on Mayan house mounds, looking at everyday tools and cutlery, pottery, uh, things that uh, everyday Mayans used. And uh, it was absolutely fascinating to look at, uh, at these ceramic pieces and know that someone actually ate off this before it went in the ground. Before I came back to school the second time around, I actually was a military helicopter pilot for 16 years. I enrolled in the Canadian Forces in 1988 and I received my wings as a tactical helicopter pilot in 1990. My background as a helicopter pilot I think is pretty unique. There's only about probably a hundred of us in Canada that have done this over a, a period of about 25 years. It opened to women in Canada in uh, 1980. I came in in 1988 and was the first female pilot to fly tactically uh, with 408 Squadron in Edmonton. So I also then in uh, 1994 became the first female pilot to be sent to the United Kingdom as an exchange pilot and the first to be promoted to major as an operations officer. So the, the first just kept coming along. So my background is fairly unique, I think. I was very fortunate in my career that I came into the military at a time when they were opening up tactical roles for women. So unlike my predecessors who were limited to flying search and rescue or transport, I was actually able to go and deploy into theaters of war and that had not been done before. So Bosnia, Somalia, Zaire, I was able to actually go in and fly in those environments and I've now, I think, given women the opportunity to at least consider that as a possibility in their careers. The advice that I would offer to someone who's looking at furthering their education later in life is to pick something that you're really interested in. Often when we come out of high school, we're not really sure what we want to do. Our parents may have influenced us as to what we want to study. But once we get a little bit older, once we're mature students, we should follow the things that interest us the most. 